I'm Dr. Rosario Chua, Medical Director of the Neonatal ICU at Franciscan Health to Level 3 and ICU. Uh, with me is uh, Lily Baumgartner, and I was her neonatologist when she was first born. She um, unfortunately was my patient because after birth, uh, we discovered that her lungs were filled with uh, baby stool. So she became very sick after that, uh, fortunately uh, responded to all the treatments. Um, growing up, I didn't know much about my birth story. I heard from like my mom and aunt that it wasn't a pretty birth. It was pretty stressful. I was not an easy baby. Um, and that all I heard was that like, I wasn't, I didn't have a good chance of making it. They didn't really know how I was gonna end up. I got sick pretty easily, which is why doctors told my mom and dad to that it'd be smart to keep me out of daycare just cause I, got sick like my mom would always say if a kid sneezed around me I'd I'd get that sickness I just did and thankfully now I don't have that as easily I don't get sick as easily so I've set my goals really high like since I first started swimming I've always wanted to swim in college and beginning of high school I always wanted to swim at state and I've accomplished both those goals I swim at state with my teammates and got a relay into state finals I will be swimming at University of Indianapolis um, and continue the sport I love, which is a great opportunity and I'm really thankful for that. The healing process is tough and slow, all the way to about 11 years of age. You know, the, the chest grows until about that time. And so there's always hope, but to become athletic and a swimmer and you know, just, uh, and I'm gonna be in college without any kind of developmental issues. Learning about my birth, I would, I'm definitely, if I have kids, I'm definitely gonna have kids in like a facility like this where it has a NICU. Just to be like, it's better safe than sorry, I mean. That's precisely what I would say. Is you, you don't see, you, you have not seen what you've seen. Some could be so catastrophic and the loss of a child. And that could be it. Or uh, disability all their life. I, could have a completely different life than I have right now, so it makes me really thankful. I mean, she said I could have breathing problems, which is, breathing is a pretty big aspect of swimming. I'm thankful I don't have those complications, and I'm just happy I get to continue my swimming and have this life. First of all, I've been blessed to be in this specialty. I do know that God has really like taken me to this, knowing that you are entrusted with the care of fragile people. And the, uh, eventually the wonder, the human potential, it's incredible. So you can't just sleep and go napping when those, these kids get sick. They need you. You know, and so I think when I respond and they equal respond to me, it's, I think it's, you're responding to a baby who needs you. Well, I will have to take care of a child who's going to grow up and become a swimmer, a sports manager, someone who will make an impact in this world. Having the life I have today, I want to thank Dr. Chua for saving me and for giving me the opportunity to have this life and swim in college and having a happy life. <laughs>